Hello, it's Amanda from IDPN, the ID Photographer Network. Earlier last week, we looked at two simple ways to do black and white conversions by using the desaturate command and the grayscale mode. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a more advanced black and white conversion with gradient maps. So we'll get started. So today, we're going to be using image adjustments gradient map. The gradient map assigns different colors to different tonal values of an image. It automatically pulls your foreground and background colors here. If you get something wacky, it's because you've got strange colors over here. So you can either go back and select the default black and white color, or you can just go to your list of default gradients and select the black and white gradient here. Now you could decide that this is perfect, just hit OK, and that's exactly how you want it. But the gradient maps give you a little more control. If we double click on the gradient scale right here, we get a gradient editor. And we have the ability to either, if we click on these black points or white points, we'll get a midpoint and we can adjust that midpoint by sliding it back and forth and that will change how things look here. We can also add a stop by clicking below the gradient. And that stop right now has decided it's it's pure black and we can, you know, really mess with things by moving that around. We can also assign it a different color. So you could just assign it a gray and use that to create a more custom kind of black and white. Or you could assign a color with a slight tint. So we could choose a slight brown and use that to create a sepia colored image. If you find a gradient that you really, really like, you can save it as a preset. And if you are really feeling fancy, you could go and select that preset and create an action around that preset. We have a video in our channel that will show you how to create your own actions. So we'll just click OK and we are done with today's tutorial. I hope you learned something and be sure to check out the rest of our videos by subscribing to our channel or visiting the resource library and the blog listed in the description below. Thank you again from IDPN, the I Do Photographer Network at www.idophotonet.com.